All right, guys. Okay, so look, I'm going to revisit um, a few UFO sighting videos I recently posted in, in, in a couple of minutes. But first, okay, before we get into that, I want to say I started researching UFOs back in probably, I don't know, 2000, 2002. And, and here's the problem I found, okay? 90% of what I see on social media is fake. I mean, or man-made, clickbait, CGI, unknown, whatever category you want to put it in. Well, actually, I've been in UFO since I was a kid, but, you know, that's for another another video, okay? And I also think it has become more acceptable, right? A little more people are, are, are just open to the idea that we're not alone. I think people are finally waking up. You know, it's, it's become acceptable to talk about, okay? I mean, here's the thing. Look at the universe. It's it's almost naive and arrogant to think that, we, that, that, we, that we're alone right? We're, we're the creme de la creme. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy to me. I mean, it drives me crazy when people say the knuckle-dragging human race is the most intelligent, you know, intellectually superior being in the universe. It is actually crazy to think that way when there's like billions and trillions, trillions of galaxies and planets and stars. Like, we're it? We, we're it? I doubt it. I really doubt it. You know, let, let me pause the video right here because I want to talk about this and then, um, and then we'll continue. You know, I'm going to actually debunk some of my own videos, okay? Like I said, we still have a lot of uh, unsolved, covered covered up, really, UFO cases going back hundreds of years, even thousands of years. But I will say, after watching how the world has recently reacted to this, like, pandemic, I'm not sure we could handle a disclosure. I, I, don't, I don't think we could after seeing the way the world reacted, okay? Right now, I mean, the world has completely fallen apart over a virus that, you know... It, Look, I'm not even going to get into it. Just, I don't think we could handle disclosure. I mean, could you imagine what would happen if our government announced, you know, we're not alone in this giant universe? Could you imagine what would happen? I mean, I think the world would literally fall apart. That's my own opinion. And I can make a video talking about it, whatever, break it down. I just don't think we could handle it. After, I, you know, we've been put to a test recently, and I think we have failed miserably, but we'll get into that later. But anyway, we have Roswell, Rendlesham Forest, um... What is there? Cash Landrum, uh, the, the Phoenix Lights, okay? All the Mars anomalies, the moon al- anomalies. I mean, any planet anomaly. Just attach anomaly to anything. There's there's just thousands of them out there. You know, Shag Harbor, the Belgium UFO wave, um, Chicago O'Hare Inter- International Airport sighting, one of my favorites, okay? The USS Nimitz, I just talked about that. Another one I talked about was the New Jersey Turnpike, uh, Stevensville sighting. There's a ton of them out there that we don't have any explanation for. One of my favorites, Phoenix Lights, by the way. I love, you know, the the, the mysterious orbs and triangles. I mean, we could, uh, look, I could go on for an hour, okay? I mean, it it goes all the way back to the Roman Empire, you know, the 15th, 16th, 17th century. Okay, the second millennium BC. I mean, we go back to the, the biblical days. We can go back to caveman drawings, ancient Egypt. There is a mountain, mountain of evidence. But the problem is, you know, people believe that the UFO community chases around little green men in flying saucers. Okay, they, they think we're a bunch of whack jobs. I mean, that's the problem. But like I said, there's a mountain of evidence. I mean, you know, so I don't know. But a huge issue we have right now is social media. I mean, there's obvious, you know, uh, UFO for profit. Okay, hashtag UFO for profit, CGI, clickbait. You know, it really does give us a bad name, you know, and I understand. I do understand. Let me back up my video so you guys can watch something as I'm babbling. I understand there is a certain entertainment value to covering UFOs. I mean, having a UFO channel, like I said, there's a certain level of entertainment. I get that. Okay. But when 95% of your content is totally fake, okay, that's where the UFO community gets a bad name. Okay. That's my two cents. But anyway, let's continue. Okay, like I said, uh, we're going to revisit some of these videos in a minute. And look, something else I want to mention, okay, as a UFO content creator, reporter, investigator, whatever, I bring you guys videos so you can make up your own mind. But there's a lot of people out there that would, you know, would call someone like me a hoaxer, right? But in in reality, I'm just passing on information, content, and, and you decide. You make up your own mind. That doesn't make you a hoaxer. You know, when I'm watching a video that I can't explain and I share it with you, you know, that's, it is what it is, you know, but you're labeled a fraud or whatever. That drives me crazy. There, look, there's a there's a huge difference in putting out, you know, a known fake versus something that I can't explain or I don't know what I'm looking at, okay? 
But again, we have, like I said, we have UFO channels out there that are clearly in it for the money. They will post absolutely anything on a channel, you know, even an obvious fake, okay? And I don't think you'll ever find any, anything like that on my channel, you know, uh, at least I'll try not to, okay? And I'm not hating on channels that do that. I mean, it's just not my thing. I'm not here, I'm not here to make money. I'm here because I love the topic and I want to get to the bottom of it. I want to figure this thing out. Are we truly alone? I mean, and I've been looking into it for over 20 years. I mean, pro pro I'm actually more like probably 25 years, to be honest, okay? You know, I mean, isn't that the lifelong question? Where do we come from? How do we get here? Where, where, where do we go when we die? Are we alone? You know, and I, and I don't mean to go off into a rant, but I just can't stand like these little cookie cutter type, you know, simpletons out there that work their little nine to five job, watch football on the weekend and believe, you know, whatever mainstream media tells them to believe. And most of them are more concerned about money, cars and material items versus real life questions. You know, I mean, and it's not that that stuff isn't important, right? But don't you want to know where did you come from? Why are you here? Where are you going? You know, you're, you're just like floating on this like giant rock in the middle of space and we have no idea where we came from. And I think the UFO community is, they're like the 10 percenters. They are the 10% of the population that thinks a little bit different. They think outside of the box, you know, so that's what, that's, that's, I'm a part of that 10%. So that's why I'm here. Okay. Let me back it up a little bit. Like I said, I, you know, first you have, if you want to be a real UFO researcher, you know, you have to be able to debunk things. And I'm going to start here. I'm going to go back. Sorry, guys. Okay, this right here, that is a live feed from a volcano. Sorry, I just went off on a rant, wow. <laughs> a live feed from a volcano. And this, you know, mysterious light is floating out. But here's the thing, I wondered, is it a time lapse, okay? And I've looked at the time in the corner, it doesn't appear to be like a time lapse, lapse video. Like, could it be a star in the background, a planet, a plane, you know, a helicopter, and it's just like a visual effect. Now right here, NASA ISS live feed. Okay, so in my last video, which I'll play at the end, I told you guys, you know, it's like you're looking up at, 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 at like a galaxy. It's beautiful, right? But here's the thing, you're looking down. Now, doesn't that give you a whole new perspective that you're looking down? Here, let me back it up a little bit. You're looking down. Okay, those are lights on the ocean, whatever it may be. Okay, moving on to this one. I believe a, uh, Secure Team 10 posted a video, or uh, um, I think he covered this, didn't he? Oh, you guys tell me in the comment section. I think he did. But again, this video would fall in that category of unknown. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's real or fake. I really, I truly don't know. You know, so I have no problem bringing it to the channel and you guys can decide. Again, that doesn't make you a hoaxer. That doesn't make you a fraud. It falls into that unknown category. You know, and it's really cool and fun to watch on top of that. So, you know, a bit, this is a prime example, this video right here of the unknown, right? And that's how I truly feel about it because I don't, I mean, is it a satellite? Is it, you know, some type of rock? Is, I don't know. I really don't know. You know, I think it's very cool, whatever it is. Again, you have that entertainment value. So I don't have a problem with that video at all, whatsoever. You know, so um, let's see, what do we got next? Yeah, this right here, um, and actually I forgot to, to include one video that I wanted to include in, in this little video monologue here. And I'll probably make a separate video next because I have two other UFO sightings that I thought I, I attached to my video, but I didn't. But whatever, maybe it's you know meant to be. I'll make it, I'll make a whole new video for you guys. But I thought this was really, really cool. It doesn't look fake to me. It doesn't look like CGI. But um, you know, who knows? It's very hard to tell. And what I do is I'll put different filters on it. You know, I can tell if there's any blurring. I can, I can tell, you know, there's ways to debunk these videos. If, you know, here's what I do. I will go, I'll take a sighting like this. I'll go to another channel where they try to debunk it and I'll watch it, you know? And then I have a list of, you know, maybe 10, 15, 20 sightings that are in my, you know, my, my list of proof, like, you know, my proof list, right? You know, someone says, you know, oh, you believe, you believe in UFOs. I mean, give me your top 10. And I'm like, well, here you go. And I'll probably make a video for you guys going over my top 10 that we still don't have an explanation for completely unexplained. I thought this was another really cool sighting. Again, yeah, it could be CGI. It could be fake. I don't know. You know, I mean, we've seen a lot of orbs. I mean, I personally saw an orb. I talked about it on the channel back in, um, I think it was like 2012. You know, so... Uh, I mean, the world is made of energy, right? I mean, it, so, I mean, to me, this is totally, 
plausible, reasonable to think that you could be looking at something real here. Again, I don't have a problem with a video like this at all, at all. You know, and we've seen a ton of them. And right now, I mean, all these crazy lights going around in the night sky because the world is on lockdown, they're shut down. Now here's the video right here, by the way. This is kind of, I attach my old video to the new video just so you guys can watch it again. And I'll let it run through and play through. I'll stop talking in a minute, you guys can watch it. But, um, and also, like I said, I'm gonna include the other two videos in a minute here. I thought I put them in here, but I guess I didn't. But anyway, you know, maybe it's, like I said, maybe it's, uh, you know, a sign is meant to be. I need to talk about it in a separate video, but I got two other really cool sightings I'm gonna share with you guys. I mean, right there, does that look like a time lapse to you? Does that look like, you know, I don't know. I really don't know. And you know, another little trick people do is they will, you know, have like a reflection on the glass when they're recording or something like that. So, um, you know, I don't think that's what we're, what we're looking at here. And you see, I put that filter on it right there because I can tell if it's a fake or not. You know, you can, like I said, if you if you do, if you guys create any type of videos, you start to learn the little tricks, you know, and how, how these guys fake videos. So I couldn't find anything in this particular video, you know, and here's that one again. Like I said, this is just a continuation. Let me see what minute mark we're on here. Here, I'll skip forward a bit. I'm gonna keep going a little bit further. There we go, we'll, we'll let it run through. But I thought that sighting was very cool, completely unexplainable. Could it be some kind of like pyrotechnics? And again, right here, you think you're looking up, you're looking down, okay? Again, I throw filters on it to check them. You're looking down, you know, apparently, but hey, you know, there's a lot of misinformation out there. A lot of times we'll have a real UFO sighting that, you know, NASA or whoever, the government, you know, they'll try to put out something like disinformation, misinformation in, in order to debunk it. And as always, this was at the end of my other video, the uh, Jer uh, Jerusalem lights, okay, or the lights over Jerusalem, however you want to title it probably one of my favorites and, and and I have seen people debunking it you know but I've also heard rumors that they were setting up equipment in Jerusalem earlier that day you know they were setting up this equipment and um, it was some type of light show I mean I, you know you hear all kinds of crazy things but you look I think it's a very creditable sighting and it would probably be in my top 20 not top 10 definitely not top 5 top 20 probably so I don't know guys sub to the channel leave a comment below